Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. The forces of the good, NATO, the collective West, which is not that collective, are bringing tanks to fight Russia in uh, Ukraine. Uh, they're going to use the, Ru the Ukrainians to fight the Russians on their territory. So, what's going on? France um, sent their tanks. They call light tanks. Well, the only difference is that they have wheels, but everything else is a tank. So, let's see what's going on here. This article comes from Ukrainska Pravda, right there. It is from the 19th of February 2023. First French AMX. Uh, 10 RC wheeled tanks will arrive in Ukraine in a week. So that's basically, technically, a tank, right? A tank, but it has rubber, I guess, rubber wheels. Oh, we have a plane here. Click, no more. Uh, <laughs> rubber wheels, you see? Instead of having, uh, I don't know how you call those things. Anyway, so this is what you have. And they are called AMX, like BM BMX. So, <laughs> I guess. See how they're going to perform. Good job. Good job. So, NATO is uh, moving in with everything they got, aside from nuclear weapons and legal, uh, how do you call it, personnel that we don't know of yet, but they will get in with as um, peacekeeping forces or loving, make loving, loving making, whatever you want to call them. And uh, they already uh, have and will have more long-range missile systems. French minister of, from the United States and from other countries, Great Britain is also uh, willing to uh, uh, help the war effort of the, uh, these countries to win the war. French minister of armed forces, Sébastien Lecornu, predicts that the first AMX-10RC light wheeled Tanks will be delivered to Ukraine at the end of next week. Whew, yes, celebration. Source, Le Cornu, in an interview with Le Parisien, European Pravda. And I'm quoting, The training of Ukrainians on the AMX-10RC is nearing completion. I do not, I refuse to believe this big thing. I refuse. And the tanks will be delivered at the end of next week. But it's okay. We'll find out when they're going to be blown up. We're going to open those and we're going to find some, um, I don't know, the French minister said. He refused to say how much equipment was involved. So, and I'm quoting, so as not to give strategic information to Russia. <laughs> That's right. You know why? Because if you say how many, you got to say uh, you, the Russians can calculate and I can calculate how many crew members you trained. You know what I mean? So if you send 100, you know, probably multiply it by three at least, and you're going to find out how many people these guys trained in France on the Beme X. <laughs> okay? So that's the, the, the thing. Do you think... I don't even want to go into that. Like the Russians don't know yet. <laughs> I doubt it. But hey, I think it's for us, not for them. And uh, in general, I'm quoting, in general... The pace of training is accelerating. <laughs> this is this is not how it is. This is. <laughs> it's like you are running on a competition as fast as you can, and all of a sudden people say, "Faster, faster, Muffo, That's all what my body is able to do. It's no faster than that. I wanted to give another example. But that would have been a little bit uh, naughty, <laughs> faster, faster, and so on, <laughs> deeper. <laughs> so here we have these guys telling us that somehow they accelerated the program. How? They didn't sleep? Did they put some extra chips in their heads to accelerate more memory? You know, so they speed the process. What did they do? I mean, they dealt with human, human flesh and blood and brain and whatever. But they accelerated. Well, just think about it. When you, when you design a program to learn something, you design it for the same reason, the ability of the person to understand, to accumulate, to memorize, to practice it. I mean, you can't, certain things you cannot, uh, physiological uh, uh, things you cannot, uh, how should I put it, uh, accelerate. You cannot. 
it's a limit, the same. I'm going to go in if I go to work out how hard I work out over there. This muscle has a limit on building. I can't accelerate it. Oh, I can give you and whatever I take and I get this, but it's still, it's a limit. You got to reach that limit. It seems like these guys are, you know, uh, it's pathetic, but hey, they, they, that's how, what they think about us, I think. So in general, what about in martial? or in lieutenant. In general, the pace of training is accelerating both on our territory with specialized training on the equipment we are supplying and in Poland with more general training of entire battalions at a rate of 600 soldiers per month, starting from March, Le Cornu noted. Who has 600 soldiers? I tell you who has. NATO countries. They have volunteers coming to uh, Ukraine. Ukraine started that little program of volunteering uh, assault uh, troops, troopers, I mean troops or something like that. And uh, they, uh, they said that about 20,000 already signed in in about a week or so. I just have a gut feeling. And my gut feeling comes from uh, what I, you know, I accumulated during my shitty life. <laughs> and uh, that information is that People cut lines and people lie, right? And when they tell you these kind of things, like for instance, uh, military advisors, you got to make sure that the military advisors are chick chick, okay? They're not, uh, yes, I, I think you didn't uh, shoot correctly. Let me show you, but I can't touch it. I'm going to show it to you, okay? I don't think that's the way it works. And, and I don't I don't think. I have plenty of past examples and I always use this one. Remember? The Vietnam War, yes. Remember those military advisors sent by the United States of America, the force of good, the planetary force of good? Yeah. Were they ch -ch or they were not ch -ch. I think they were ch -ch. And they were also using AK-47 at one point. Why? I don't know. Because they were bad. <laughs> Let's go back to this weasel here. So 600 soldiers per month. Okay, yeah, they, they, they try to make this so we can expect how many people will cross the border as volunteers, uh, soldiers uh, from Ukraine that came for tr went for training. Commenting on the possibility of providing Ukraine with Leclerc tanks, Le Cornu pointed out that shortcomings associated with the limited success of this equipment in exports, and I'm quoting, therefore, its transfer to Ukraine will not create a leverage effect for mass deliveries while the coalition of countries transferring leopard tanks has already been created, he explained. Uh, well, if you're gonna see that you're losing badly, that's gonna happen. You're gonna send Leclerc, okay? I have no doubt about it. Why? Again, previous examples, real life examples. I remember when these guys started with helmets, helmets, then they moved into condoms, and then they moved into uh, inflatable dolls, if you know what I mean. And then they sent uh, uh, ju juvenile, juvenile, you remember those ones? And then they sent the Howizers, and then they sent the High Mars, and then they sent short range missile systems plus the High Mars, and then they moved into uh, um, armored vehicles, then they moved, moved to tanks, and they will move to airplanes, and then they will move to long range systems, and they will move to volunteers. Ch -ch. All right, so be. As if you want to believe it, you're at your own risk. <laughs> well, oh my God, these are just jokes, jokes. At the beginning of January, Emmanuel Macron, by the way, 32% approval rating as of now. Uh, it doesn't have imperium to rule, I'm telling you that. But hey, this is democracy, so mm, shut the hell up and vote next time for another weasel that's going to have in a year or two 32% or 31% approval rating. You love democracy. The President of France announced the provision of French AMX 10RC wheeled tanks. According to the media, Paris was initially supposed to hand over 14 a AMX 10RCs and a total of about 40 vehicles are expected to be transfer transferred. Uh, they can transfer how much they want. The AMX is an armored fighting vehicle manufactured by French com company Giat. Okay, gotta memorize that and see how it performs. And we're gonna see if these guys gonna give any campaign contributions to uh, politicians designed to 
designed for reconnaissance. It has been in service of the French forces since 1981. I thought it was 1931. I was like, what? As of 2021, the French army had more than 240 such vehicles. Starting in 2021, they are gradually being replaced by Jaguar fighting reconna reconnaissance vehicles. Where are these guys using Panzer, uh, Jaguar, uh, Leopard, I don't know, Cheetah, what, a Lion? What, what's wrong with the felines here? I think they're discriminating against the, the canines. Anyway, the, the, is that how you say it? Yeah, I think. The AMX 10 RC is equipped with a 105 mm. Oh, okay, this is a commercial here. We're not going to do over that. The French APC is often referred as a wheeled tank because it's capable of fighting armored vehicles. Well, it looks like a tank to me. Yeah, what, what do you tell me? What do you think these are? I see we got some diversity here too. So anyway, let's, <laughs> let's move on. So, NATO sends tanks, the um, coalition of the good, the good countries of this planet send tanks to fight the evil coming from the east. And um, they will be successful because they are on the side of the good and what's right and the change. All right, my friends, uh, this is it. The, the, things, the thing uh, uh, escalates. But hey, uh, w peace, war is peace, peace is war, remember? George Orwell, they're gonna make the Russians uh, bring their underwear on the stick and say, peace, we want peace, we're too afraid. Uh, it doesn't count, it has yellow shit on your underwear. Well, my bad, hey, Johnny, do you have ones that are not soiled? No, what about you? No, uh, sorry, man. <laughs> So, this is what it is. Expect them. They're coming. The invasion. Thank you very much for being with me again today. The second Napoleonian invasion. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just. What happened to Napoleon? Oh, he reached Moscow. Okay. <laughs>